So in Far Cry 6 you have a bunch of different vehicles and stuff available and one of them is a flying car. So in this video we're going to go through exactly how you can get the flying car, where to find it. And this is relatively simple. When you start the game, if we go to the beginning, you come up to Libertad HQ, then you are given three different like camps that you can go to to basically set up and progress with the main story. So if we start at Montero Farm, which is the camp in Costa del Mar, if you come up to this guy here that's got the hammer icon, what you want to do is build the hideout network, but you want to upgrade it to the enhanced, which is essentially level 2. Altogether for this, you're going to need 90 metal and 90 gas, because you need 30 to actually build it, then you need 60 for the upgrade. However, you'll see there are only two slots for camp facilities, so if it's the case of you've used both slots and you haven't built the hideout network, all you need to do is go to one of the other two camps, because each camp gives you two slots for facilities, and altogether there are six in the game, so three camps, two facilities in each one, you can build every single facility. To get the hideout network built, and upgrade it to level two, so if I do that now quickly, then once the hideout network is built and upgraded, you want to come over to this guy that's got the house icon, who's literally just over from the hammer dude. And if we talk to this chief scout, we're going to be able to purchase hideouts. So what you want to do is you want to buy the hideout called Hideout Conjunto. And this is going to cost you 200 pesos, so we're going to purchase it. And when we have that, it's going to unlock that hideout. So then what we are going to do is see that the hideout is here. We are going to fast travel over to it. It's over on the right hand side of the map. And the reason you have to have your hideout network at level 2 is you'll see available at the gorilla hideout. There is a workbench to upgrade your weapons. There's access to a cache. And there's access to a vehicle that comes with the enhanced hideout network. That's why you have to upgrade it to level 2. And when you fast travel, you spawn in. All you have to do is turn around and you have a flying car. So what you need to do to like basically save this so that you can call it in from elsewhere is use up on your d-pad use your phone and then get enough uh, distance away from it start scanning the vehicle once it's scanned it goes into your like the place where you can call your vehicles in basically so now that's ticked we have ability or have the ability to call this in from wherever we want so if we now drive in if we jump in as the driver if we bring up show controls, you'll see that I have to press Y to activate and deactivate flight mode, but you need to be going a certain speed as well. So what we're going to do is close that, we're going to start driving, and when we have enough speed, we're going to press Y, and it's going to pull the lever, and it might be a little bit difficult to control, but we are now flying in a car, which is very fast as well. And then in order to land this one safely, what I would recommend is getting a little bit closer to the ground, being careful of the restricted airspace as well. And then when you are close enough to the ground, if you just deactivate the flight mode, you are going to land safely, then you can continue driving with it. And then if we want to, from the ground, we can just start flying again. However, I'm still in restricted airspace, so it's kind of uh, awkward flying around here. But there you go. Nice and easy to get safe landings and to keep yourself alive. However, if a flying car is a little bit too much, you're struggling controlling it, and you want something that's nice and small you can still fly around in, then what you want to do is you can either go up to the Caverna River. There's like a massive hole in the mountain. If you drop down to water level, there is a chance something called the Avispa Buzzer spawns there. If it's not there the first time you go there, you can just fast travel to somewhere close by and you can go back and it will spawn there eventually. Or somewhere else the same vehicle spawns is Hideout Trover, which you don't need to buy from the uh, people at the camps or anything like that. This one should just be unlocked. So it's northeast of the Montero farm and at Hideout Trover, if you have a look, we have a little helicopter that's very, very small. It's going to be really helpful with collecting things in the game like getting into small spaces. So again, like the flying car, if we stand back a little bit, we scan it. Then once the scan is complete, we are then able to call that in from essentially any helicopter place that you would call them in from. So yeah, you're able to fly around and this is pretty quick. It's nice and small. So it's agile and everything. And it's going to be that little bit easier to control than the flying car. 
So that was where to find the flying car, which is also known as the Angelito FW Turbo in Far Cry 6. And a little bonus for those of you that may struggle with controlling the flying car. I mean, it's nice for the NPCs to just randomly run chorizo over. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. But what we are going to do on that note is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.